Dr. Judd Heinrichs, and I'm on the faculty in animal science. And I've been chair of the Penn State Dairy Nutrition Workshop since we started in 2000. Uh, Jenny Ischler and I ran workshops around the state a few years before that as, as kind of a traveling road show. And at some point in time, we decided that it was going to be a better way to get some educational information out to our consultants and some of our dairy producers uh, to put all in one location so we could bring lots of speakers in. Our goal is to have an applied conference, one that people can use at least one piece of information from every lecture uh, and apply it on their farm today if that's what they wanted or for the feed industry one of their customers on the way home. But we want to take all the information that's out there in nutrition, management, housing, environment, animal welfare, um, every other aspect of dairy nutrition that may affect that cow and her production or her well-being and put it together uh, and give people information on it in, in one location. My name is Ginger Benton. I've been with the Penn State Dairy Team in Marshall County since February of 2014. My presentation was on using milk quality indicators and determining how they relate to food safety and product quality. And my hope in presenting that was that one, the attendees would get some practical information to take back to their farms or to apply with the producers with whom they work, but also that they would be more clear on the big picture and why food safety is important through the entire continuum. This was a good experience for me. It was the first time I've attended this workshop and I was able to get an update on some of the current research that's going on, which is useful to me as an extension educator to go back and translate into useful information for the producers of the new book. Uh, I'd say come to the Nutrition Workshop because it's a place where you can get information that's timely, that's applicable uh, to use on your farm or your customers' farms. Um, it's all the things that affect the cow um, and we try to put it all in one place. We can give you a variety of topics so that if you're not interested in one thing, there's hopefully one or two other things that are of interest. So we offer 10 to 12 different concurrent sessions and every year we get the complaint people, I couldn't go to enough sessions, which is exactly what we want to have.